everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Zebra Theories. This is where I'm going to go through some of my kind of strange theories about what's going on on shows, movies, whatever. Just things that seem awkward and don't really have a lot of proof, but, you know, just theories I have about things and what's happening. So, for today's episode, you really have to know the show Seinfeld. Because, what are we going to talk about today? The truth about Lloyd Braun. That's right. Who the hell is Lloyd Braun? Who the hell is Lloyd Braun, you ask? Well, Lloyd Braun was introduced for a few episodes. He started out as the advisor to Mayor Dinkins in the yogurt episode, and he dated Elaine for that episode. Now, the thing is, when Lloyd first showed up, he was played by this guy. But then in later episodes, he showed up, and he was played by this guy. And that was for the episode with the Chinese gum, and also the Serenity Now episode, which is pretty damn famous. Most people believe that the reason for the change was because the actor just wasn't available for the future episodes, so they just recast him. But I think there's a little more to it than that. During the yogurt episode, Elaine told Lloyd Braun that he should have the mayor have everyone wear name tags in the city. And Lloyd actually suggested this to the mayor, and it cost the mayor the election. That caused Lloyd to have a mental breakdown, and he ended up in a mental institution. So, when he returned, he was played by a different person. But I think that actually wasn't even Lloyd Braun. See, here's my theory. That person that they say is Lloyd Braun in the later episodes, that's actually an escaped mental patient stealing Lloyd's identity. Now, I'm going to show you why I think this. First of all, there are some exceptions to this, but if you look at it, look at how everyone was addressing Lloyd in the first episode when he showed up. Hey, George! Hey, hey, Lloyd! <laughs> this is, uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd? <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. Hey, Lloyd! How you doing, Lloyd? I hear you're a big advisor for Dinkins now. George, hey, Lloyd! How's it going? <laughs> you know, Lloyd, I, I, I've been to the doctor this week. You know, Lloyd, I, I really don't have it. <laughs> okay, now, as you see, they're just calling him Lloyd. They're not calling him by his full name or anything. But later on in the other episodes, when the other actor's there, look at how they address him. Lloyd Braun did. Lloyd Braun? Was why can't you be more like that Lloyd Braun? In the end, Lloyd Braun became more like you. Speaking of crazy, did you hear about Lloyd Braun? We're hoping Lloyd Braun can pull a few strings. Lloyd Braun can do anything he puts his mind to. Lloyd Braun was in the nuthouse, not me. Back when Lloyd Braun at the theater. I was chewing gum with Lloyd Braun, and he was bragging about the peep show you gave him at the Alex. Lloyd Braun had something to do with Lloyd Braun! What is Lloyd Braun doing here? Because why can't you be more like Lloyd Braun? You know, he was in a mental institution. I don't know how to be Lloyd Braun! I guess your mother was right. You never could compete with Lloyd Braun! See, they're making a point to say Lloyd Braun every time, not just Lloyd, as if they're trying to say, no, this is Lloyd Braun. We're trying to convince you of it. See, I think that when this mental patient escaped, he actually made death threats to everybody that actually knew who Lloyd Braun was and said to tell everyone that he is Lloyd Braun or else he was going to kill them. And they're just all freaked out. So they're saying, yeah, Lloyd Braun over here, you know. And they're just playing along with it and trying to convince everyone else that that's Lloyd Braun. Now, when you think of it that way, some of these other scenes kind of get a little creepy if you just look at it and think that they're afraid for their life, especially how Kramer acts. Just watch this. Listen, you guys haven't seen Lloyd Braun. I mean, I'm supposed to meet him. Lloyd Braun? What do you have to meet him for? But he still needs all of our support. You know, when he gets here, treat him like he's one of the game. How you doing? Yeah, well, he's doing fine, Rich. Gum? That's an interesting package. Yeah, it's from China. Go ahead, try a piece. Tell me that's not the most delicious gum you've ever tasted. Yes, yes, we shall all try a piece and tell you how delicious it is. George? I don't chew gum. <laughs> Where'd you get it? A friend of mine in Chinatown gave it to me. If you want, I can ask him where he got it. I don't want it. No, it's no problem. I don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says it's no problem. It's capable of locating the gun. All right. Kramer, tell you, we reserve some special seats. 
sheet so we can all sit together. Uh, uh, actually, Lloyd, Jerry and I have to sit in the front row uh, because, uh, because, because he forgot his glasses. So, uh, thanks for getting us. We'll see you afterwards. <laughs> Am I crazy or does Jerry not wear glasses? You're not crazy. Jerry does wear glasses. He just forgot. It. Not crazy. Seeing made me feel very uncomfortable. Sorry, you forgot those glasses. I don't know what I was thinking. I just like that gum. Yeah, I love it. Kramer, you know what? There, there isn't a light there. The light is here. Yeah, it's being repaired. I sat too close to the screen. I just had to stretch out in the hot bath. It's nice to see you again. He's going to be here any minute now. So what? Why do you think she wore those? They're from the lost and found of the Alex. Oh, come on, Kramer. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to put these on. Oh, okay. So he'll just think that the two of you didn't sit with him on purpose. That's very nice. Very nice. That's more than a gun. Chill. Now see, this is what the holidays are all about. Three buddies sitting around chewing gum. So, uh, actually the importer's right in Chinatown. I'll introduce you to him. You can get it whenever you want. It's not necessary. Hey, Jerry, you know, boy wants to do you a favor. I know that, Kramer. Well, if you don't want to, now, sure, sure, it's very kind of you. Now, Jerry, he appreciates it. Don't you, Jerry? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so, yeah, how about that name today, huh? Hey, yeah. what is it all about, huh? <laughs> she was practically undressing in front of me at the theater. <laughs> yeah, you uh, really missed the show, buddy. Ooh, ba -boom, ba -boom. Maybe I'll stick around and see what she's wearing today. <laughs> or not wearing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely, let's just stick around. I'll tell you what, they're expecting us, though. Let me just grab a hot dog here. I'd like a hot dog, please. Are you out of your mind? Oh, well, what's the problem here? This hot dog's been here since the silent era. You'd have to be insane to eat it. This man is not insane. There's nothing wrong with it or you. Great, maybe it Show you. Why not talk, please? Okay. That's not good. There we go. Mmm. Oh. That's delicious. Mmm. It's a perfectly sane food to eat. <laughs> Interesting texture. Hey, do it. Lloyd Braun. He's a fucking psycho. 
and he escaped the mental institution and he made death threats to everybody. And now everyone's just trying to play along and not get killed. I mean, that might be a bit of a stretch, but it is possible. So, that does it for Zebra Theories. All I gotta say is, serenity now, insanity later. Just like ringing that bell.